Hello everyone, welcome back to Design Trend Seeker. So if you are new around here, my name is Danielle, and on this channel, we like to take a look at trending and viral DIY project ideas and react to them. So if home decor is your thing, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button, be sure to like today's video, and you will stay up to date on all the latest and the hottest DIY trends. Now without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. So we start off our first DIY at the store. They're grabbing some paint here, some different items. So they have like this cactus. Oh, they're painting it black. Hmm. So they're using like the regular sponge applicator paintbrush to do it completely matte black. I actually really like the way that that turned out. So then we have a DIY lamp. So they have a lampshade here, a vase. Not going to say what this product is because I'm not entirely sure what they're using. Okay, and then they got the puck light there, and bam! Nice, simple, easy, electric-free vase. And then we have some jute-style coasters. So this seems simple enough. Those are cute, too, for that nice little bohemian look and feel. Oh, she made a coffee table! Wow, look at this! Oh, and it doubles up as a storage unit. Wow. Oh, that is fancy. Then we have some teacups here. I like the gold and the white, of course. She stacked them together and made a little planter. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I love this idea. Wow. Very cool. And then we have another lamp. So this one also features like the puck lights. You can get like a bunch of these from like Amazon or just the store. This is a pretty easy DIY too, by the way. Like it's nothing too complicated. And she didn't even really have to paint anything because the bottom portion was already black. We have a bowl and a cup. Spray painted them. The stone spray and voila. So pretty. One dollar wall decor. You will need to make 25 squares. Let's start gluing them together. Okay, so she's spray painting this silver. That is like super simple decor. So here we have another ottoman. Well, actually the first one wasn't an ottoman, it was a, a table. So here we have an ottoman. <laughs> so it looks like she's ripping up an old one, taking off the fabric. And then adding in this beautiful green velvet. Oh. This is so pretty. Is this green or black? I can't tell. Oh, okay, definitely green. Ooh, that is pretty. I love the dark forest green color. And then we have another ottoman DIY here. So this is the skirted ottoman, okay. So another like DIY that you can revamp with like some fabric. You can buy like a cheapy ottoman from like Target. They have tons of those. And then grab like a nice high quality looking fabric and you know, pretty much reupholster it. So 
she added some buttons here. Now something like this would probably take a while to do. You know, definitely not like a beginner friendly DIY, I would say. This is cute though. The only thing is that I'm not really a fan of that fabric. It seems like it wouldn't last very long. So next up we have a cutting board, some puck lights, some spray, and some trash cans. So obviously she's making some sort of side table. And because the trash cans that she used are see-through, you put something else inside of there. Maybe like a plant, like a fake plant or... Yeah, that's what she ended up doing, huh? It's funny. I like that. I like the green. Oh, and it has the lights in there. Oh, that is cool. I love this idea. And there it is with a blanket. You know, you can change out what you have in there. There's books. DIY shoes from Target. So let me know if you guys want to see more like clothing based DIYs. I might start throwing these in videos more. So for this one, she's pretty much painting these. I like this idea. I feel like it would be a fun project to do with like your friends. And then you can walk around with your shoes and be like, oh, I made these myself. They're unique. Western DIY, $3 tray from Dollar General. It's probably like $5 now with inflation. <laughs> All right, so they painted the base. lettering. That's cool. Honestly, I thought at first that she was going to show us how to make that, um, what do they call it? The cowhide? I don't know what that thing was. The statue. <laughs> so here is another like Western inspired DIY that you can do with like letters. So she basically cut that fabric out with a cowhide. That's cool. And then we have a bohemian inspired, it looks like they're making a lamp, like a lampshade. I like the color scheme, it's like very relaxing, soft neutral colors. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. Wow, very cool. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed checking out these DIYs and hearing my reactions to them. If you did, please be sure to give today's video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.